Welcome to this video. This video is about how to use the VLOOKUP function in Excel. Let me give you an example as to why it's really useful. So I've got a list of data here. So I've got client codes and I've got client names. What I can do, I can create a VLOOKUP and put it in here so that if I enter a client code here, it will instantly tell me who the client is. This could be for clients, this could be for invoices, this could be for anything. This is really useful because imagine someone rings you up or they email you and they say, hi, my user ID, my client code, my invoice number is 123456. It'll take you a long time to search for that information. Whereas it'd be a lot quicker and easier just to type it in there and then be confident that it's going to bring through the exact answer as to who it is. I've done this in a very simple form with only a few rows of data, but this could have you know, tens of thousands of rows of data. Let me show you how I've done it though. First off, let's put in some data here that we know is nice and easy to see. So the client code is 12345, which is this one here. And if we press return, it should come back as IBM, which it has. And this is the code that we want to enter. But let me show you how I've done this. So I'll delete this and I'll explain it all. Click in the cell and then type in equals V lookup and then open the bracket. And you want to be looking up this data. So what is the name of the cell that you want to be looking up the data from? And it's this one here, which is A2. So I'll click on that. Press comma. I then want to choose the range, which is where do I want to be looking at the data from? And this is the range here. So all of this, and make sure you get both columns in this instance, but don't include the headers. There's no need for the headers. Then press comma. Then I need to enter what column do I want to show the result from? And in this case, it is column two, because there's two columns. If this same data was located over here, it would still be the second column that I want to take it from. And that's important to note. And I'll show you that very shortly. But it's column two, press comma, and then the answer has to be true or false. True is an approximate match, which we don't want, and false is an exact match. We want Excel to say, that when I type in one, two, three, four, five, it brings through IBM. So it must be false, which is an exact match. Close your brackets, press return or enter on your keyboard, and there's my result. So if I type in another number in here, so if I type in nine, eight, seven, six, five, which is gonna to be Toyota, press return, it brings through Toyota. As I say, picture the scenario, someone rings you up and says, hi, my client code is 98765. You can just type it in there and you've got the result. Now I was showing you earlier on about this part here where it must be column two. Let me show you that as an example. Let's take this data. I'm gonna paste it over there. And I'm going to do the same with this as well. Let's do that again. I'm going to put in the same VLOOKUP. So equal VLOOKUP, open bracket. This is what I'm going to be entering. I want to be looking up, comma, choose the range, which is that range there, comma, again, it's column two, because it's one, two. So column two. And I don't want you to think it's column two because it happens to be A, B, so one, two. It is column two, even though it's E and F, because you're looking at this. I'll carry on with this one. Let's make that false, so it's an exact match. Close the bracket. There you go, the correct result. There you go, one, two, three, four, six is McDonald's, press return, it works. And let me show you one more time though, I'm gonna put a bit more data into it. So what you can say, let's copy this, uh, cut it, paste it there. I'm gonna fill this in with a bit more data. 
let's have this information here. I'm just populating data. It's all random as you can see. Let's get me to help out on that one there. But let's not make it so obvious. There we go. So that is all random data. And let's do the same thing again. So put that information in there. We're going to search for one, two, three, four, five, which is that one there. And I want it to bring through IBM as the result. Same code, but slight variance this time. Equal VLOOKUP, open bracket. Again, I want to be looking up this. Comma, what's the range? That's the range. So it's a bigger range this time. Comma, what column is the answer coming from? And again, I want client name. So the answer is coming from column four. So column one, two, three, four. If I chose column two like I did last time, it's gonna bring this data through, which is sales. I don't want that. So it's column four. And again, I want it to be false because I want it to be an exact match. Close the bracket, press return, gives me the answer of IBM. I'll type in another one, so 71002, which is AOL, gives me that answer as well. If I had had this as column two, so we have it four, we change that to column two, it's gonna bring through the sales figures, which in this case is two. But let's go for a different number. So what's the sales figures for this one here? It's 500 which is useful in some scenarios, but not the scenario that we have. We want that to be looking up column four. Hopefully you found this video useful. If so, please like the video, subscribe to my channel for more top tech tips.